three, two, one. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We're back with Pete Heim in the studio, and this is a new studio. Look around this puppy. I mean, this is amazing, right? We got wood walls, we got red walls, we got all kinds of stuff going on. What do you think? Pretty neat, right? I first thing my first intention was to go smell the wood. Go smell the wood. That's sounds weird, but okay. It was awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a great look. It's a great look. But yes, we're so excited. We have uh we redid the studio. And if you're listening on podcasts, you could give a rip because you can't see it anyway. But we have a really nice new looking studio. Yeah. And I'm very proud of it. I think it turned out really nice. It's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's really nice. Thanks, Pete. I appreciate that. Yeah. So we got Pete Heim back. He's going to do Pete's point of view with me today. And um, we're going to talk about what's going on. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things affecting markets all yeah. over the place. Right. Uh, we have the Ukraine war going on, unfortunately. And yeah. uh, our prayers go out to all of the oh, Ukraine absolutely. people uh, and all the countries around there that are taking on people from Ukraine, which yeah. is amazing. There's a yeah. major humanitarian effort going on in that. And I, I, you, know, you, can't, you can't start a show without even bringing that up no, because it's you important. Got to. Yeah, yeah, it's really important. So, yeah. uh, but there's things that are happening there that are affecting our world too, exactly. and obviously not at the at the rate that it's affecting theirs. But yeah. we do want to talk about it. You know, we want to oh, yeah. get into that. So, um, you said when you first came in here that you're you're seeing um, I don't know pessimism, negativism, negativity, I should say, uh, uh, with the war going on. So, tell well, me what you're seeing or hearing. Uh, well, I, I would think some people are, are being a little fearful, but it's yeah. more of an uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Uh, of where things are going. Um, and I think we have to tell people that in our world, um, it's not going to be so bad. I mean, okay. these poor people losing their homes, their relatives are dying, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I have a hard time believing that's going to affect us that had effect, you know, yeah. this war, but we're praise, you know, we're, we're just going to pray to God that we won't have anything on our shores. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So if it stays, if it's, I mean, if it comes here, obviously our, all our problems are going to be completely shift and it's going to be way different than absolutely. anything markets or real estate or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just going to get much bigger than that. So, but if it stays there and we can come and they come to a solution and if it, hopefully they can end it soon. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, Brad, you and we were talking mm -hmm. earlier, we got through COVID dude. Yeah. I mean, we were still pushing homes, you know, through on uh, during COVID being a shutdown and everything else. So, um, I don't really think it's going to be that way. I think it's more going to be more of a, an economy thing where it, I think the supply chain is going to be hurting for a yeah, while. Sure. And, um, you know, the old gas prices, you see what they're doing. Yeah. Um, it's going to affect your pocketbook, everyone's pocketbook a little bit. But, you know, the three things that are affecting real estate really right now is that inflationary unrest is one thing. Um, the second thing would be the um, interest rate. Mm -hmm. discussion what we're going to have and then again and, and always here we go you guys ready yes we're going to talk about inventory again but, then, Invent but, but <laughs> gosh darn it why do we have to talk about inventory every show yeah i'll tell you what it's two years two years of inventory where's that dead horse i know seriously yeah oh dude it's he's he's glue <laughs> he's, he's, it's over man he's it's over he's, i don't even know if that's true do they even make elmer. glue out of horses he's anyway. elmer no. yeah he's elmer that's right <laughs> But yeah, use Elmer to put this wood up. I don't yeah, think. Anyway. you know, I'll probably get in uh, trouble for those comments, but that's all right. It's our show. Um, right. So yeah, so going back, but so yeah, I think I think exactly. you're right. Mm -hmm. I agree with you that obviously the thing in Ukraine is terrible. Yeah, um, it is going to affect our economy. It is going to affect certain things, but yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think it's going to be quite as bad as sometimes you see in the media and everything else out there. Right. So. Well, let's talk about the we can't control the inflation. I mean, none of us here. I think none of us are involved in in that part. So nope. let's put that aside. Well, what's funny um, about that though is is you know our market has been inflating inflating for before everything else was higher than 7.5 percent yeah, which yeah was, exactly that's the inflation rate yes. right now right yep. so yeah so you're right it's yep. inflating right but we can't control that nope right so what we can control or really look at or try to think about would be um well, we can't control this either but interest rates obviously we can't control but you, you know we were talking earlier um about it's, it follows the 10 year treasury bond. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I know they're going to raise short term rates probably because yeah. they do that for inflation. But um, the 10 year, yeah. I mean, that's what you got to watch, folks. If you just want to Google mm -hmm. the 10 year treasury bond, see what that's doing, that will give you an indication of what interest rates are going to do. I've yeah. talked with uh, Justin's on your show. Yeah. Great. Sure. He's one of my go to Justin guys. Perel, for sure. sure. And um, he says he thinks they're going to come down. And, and, and I think it's, it's probably, he's probably right. I think you're right too. Um, 
9-11, when 9-11 happened in 2001, that rates went from um, 7% to 5% wow. over in, in one yeah. year. That was a crisis, Yeah. right? Another crisis was COVID. Mm -hmm. When COVID happened, it went from like 4% to 2 Yeah. Okay, now yeah. we've got another crisis happening. It's it's overseas, but it's a crisis. So what's going to happen? Where yeah. are we at now? Four and a quarter? Yeah, we're like four and a quarter. Four, it's about right, yeah. Four and a quarter. Yeah. I mean, Justin thinks it's going to go into the threes again. Yeah, and, because, and I don't because of that. So, I don't doubt that. But you know, it's funny. We don't have an interest rate problem. No, we don't. <laughs> Can we go back to inventory? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't have an interest rate problem. Seriously, okay. it maybe it maybe actually the rates went up. We would have well, a little might, bit. It might be better. Inventory. Yeah, it, would, it might be a little better. Right. So it is funny. Like people talk about the interest rates and stuff, but but gosh, I mean, you know, I don't really think even if it was at four and a half percent, I don't right. think it's a problem. We, you got to go back to that thirty-year average. Oh I mean, it's eight point. Yes. It's eight point seven, folks. Right. That's what yeah. we talk or eight point nine or whatever it was. So yeah. It's as low as it's ever been. Even five, Absolutely. five and a half, six, we're still good. We're still right? really good. Yeah. The problem is the dead horse. Elm yeah. Elmer. Yeah. Yeah. Elmer. But you know what's <laughs> interesting about talking about the interest rate thing? When we were down at the uh, Keller Williams family reunion and, and they had a they had a thing there charting out different um, from from 2001 to today. Yeah. And basically, believe it or not, even with all the appreciation that we had in real estate, if you looked at the same price house, or if you looked at the same house, okay, at the rate in 2001 or 2000 before 9-11, the rates were like, what, 5%, whatever they were, 7%, whatever it was, it okay? to five, yep. If you look at the uh, the more, the actual mortgage payment per month is, is the same or less for the same house inflated up from 150000 to 380000 Oh, yeah, right. The, because of the, the interest rate. The, the right. payment's the same. Right. And really, what what do we care about? We care about we care about the payment. The payment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah, that that's is, crazy. That, that is interesting. That was a great. But they said car at. payments uh, have gone up. Yeah, everything else in our market has gone up. Right. Okay. You look at a cross board, but a house is actually less cost out of your pocket per month. Yeah. Even with all the appreciation we had, dude, that's crazy. Is that pretty wild or what? Yeah, that's wild. That's why housing's going so crazy. Yet. Yeah. Because reality is, we don't care about this price. No. We care about that monthly payment. What's well, the affordability? Absolutely. What do you think, and car companies? When, when, when cars as cars keep going up, you know, you can get an eight-year loan now for a car. Yeah, right. Because the prices have gone up so much, they can't. They don't. They know it's does. Nobody cares about the price. Right. You care about what you're paying per month. Right. Right. That's really what you care about. Who cares what the car does in the last eight years? Come on. Yeah, really. But isn't that why it's pretty wild? So Gary had some really cool, cool stuff to show us on that. It's good statistics. Well, that's really that. good yeah. to know. Yeah. Isn't it? Yep. Right. Because it, it does boil down to affordability, which yep. is interest rates, profit, profit, uh, uh, the price of the house, yeah. right? The market value. And uh, how much of your income you use. Another thing, too, that was interesting, this bringing out more of this, is that he showed us the percentage of your income. Yeah. It is today. What is it? It's like 17 or it's like 15 to 17%. It was, it was 15 back then. It, back then, yeah. back in 2000, it was like 40% of your income. Yeah, right. Remember that? Yeah, because Seriously. Because incomes, incomes are up. Right. Exactly. Because incomes have actually gone up also. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it is actually a much easier to buy a house today. Yeah. You get more house. You get, you're getting, you're doing a better job today, yeah. even with the increases, increases in prices. Than it was in 2000. Wow, that's a great. Pretty you know, amazing, right? Because it always goes up, right? Yeah. But it just so it happens that the income was here. Yeah. And the price was just, like, it was like doing this. Yeah. Right? And rates went right. down. And rates went down. So when you have income income going up, yeah, house prices going up, okay, basically around the same rate or whatever. But it is funny that 17% of your, of your monthly income now is going to housing, whereas before it was like 40%. Yeah. And crazy, Which right? Which was the 08 crash. People oh, were, they yeah, were loaning then, 50, 60. Then it changed. Yeah, then it changed. Yeah. So right. I, I, that, yeah. I just, I'm just remembering, yeah, remembering some of the stuff in family reunion That's because awesome. there's so much going on down there. It's good stuff for all you guys to know. Absolutely. That it is still a, are you going to say it? Yep. Buyer's market. Yeah. It really is. You yeah. know, Michelle and I, we we just talked yesterday. We're going to start stepping up our investment. Yeah. On start buying estate. more properties. We are. Buy We're, dirt. Buy dirt. <laughs> they're, not ma they're not making any more. They're not making any more of that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lester Ulrich. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they're not making any more. Yeah. So what else you got there? Well, I mean, we just pretty much talked about that, but you know, we talked about the actives mm -hmm. um, and, it, and going back to inventory, we're at 289 yeah. today. Oh. Um, and, and bright went wonky on me, so I don't okay. know what happened, but I'm guessing if you took city and new construction out, we're in the 175 range, Probably. maybe yeah. something like that. Absorption rate 0.5 months. It's unbelievable. 
point five. So half. So it's two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. They and what that means is, it, at the current inventory we have. Yeah. It's two weeks. It's two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And twenty four days days on market, which takes all of that into account, which yeah. is new construction models that have been on the market for yep, a thousand for, days. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot in there, and that's why that number is a little skewed sometimes. Oh, it is. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the prices are went from two forty eight. Well, no, I'm sorry. The average sale price so far this year has been two hundred forty eight thousand. Now it's taking in everybody. Gotcha. I, I was able to get the no reading took reading out, and uh, we're at two seventy nine in the suburbs. That's in the that's in outside average, outside the uh, outside the city. Average sale price. Wow, that's crazy. And and you probably saw today they're talking. Uh, I think at Reuters. Just mm -hmm. put out a, a thing this morning that forget about seven percent appreciation. It's gonna be more. It's ten. Yeah. Well, they, I just one. It's funny um, they just said here on um, on keeping current matters too. They did say double 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 digits double digits, double digits like yeah. we had this year. Yeah, this uh, past year. Yeah, I, I, that's what I see too. It's interesting. There was something on on keeping current matters that said if you're thinking about waiting until next year, and that maybe rates are higher, but you'll get a deal on prices. Well, that's risky. It may be more adva adva advantageous to pursue this year relative to waiting until 2023. And that's the uh, same thing we keep. What do you think 2023? What do you think is going to happen then? Well, I think we're going <laughs> to, right. That's another know. year away, but hey, well, what do you think? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, this is so unpredictable is, right now. All, all I know is I, I agree with the 10% appreciation rate this year. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. And so, and so here's two real estate professionals right now mm -hmm. who are, I mean, you're talking about stepping up your investment game. Yeah, absolutely. I, I am. I've been doing this 37 years, and Michelle and I, my wife, we are stepping up our investment game. Yeah, we, I'm going to do it this year. Yeah, because what did because you lose last year? I lost all. <laughs> What'd you lose? 11.2 percent, 11.3 percent. Where's that little baby emoji that's yeah. crying? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, you lost yeah, money. I did. We dude. all did. We all did. Yeah. You know, and I want to talk about last year. I've heard you say 11.2, and I've heard me say 13. Hmm. I thought it was 11.2. And I heard me say 13. What do you think it is, I, Hugo? I the, what, what was it? I heard the state was 14. Pens okay. Pennsylvania. Okay. So I think Berks County 14. was, I, I swear Berks County was 11 point something. I swear. I, you saw one statistic that I, I saw the same statistic. We're going to have to look that up. I, I wanted to clear that up. Okay. Yeah. Because I I went to that place where I think where you went. Yeah. And um, it said 11 too. I did our our multi list system, yeah, what Berks County, is, it was 13 on the money. Okay. Cool. Um, I so, stand corrected, but no, I no, I, I think I mean, you're right. There's you almost have to be careful, like where you get your information. Absolutely, and you know, and but what that doesn't take into account, guys, is any all the private sales. Oh yeah, um, which I'm sure happened. Yep. Um, t some of the uh, but they typically don't they typically don't get what they could get. That's right. So they they bring the average sale. down. But what because you're they, taking you're taking one offer. You're you're right. You're, yeah. Got most likely you're not in a multiple offer situation That's right. in a for sale by owner. Yeah, they don't have I'm not trying to be no. mean or say that anything against no. that. I'm just saying that, that, that there's I'm pretty sure you're not having 30 people come through your home. Right. And I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be looking at 10 different offers. That's exactly right. Right? Yep. No, yeah. you you didn't yeah. get hit it. But but yeah. with the real estate community it was 13%. Wow. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Amazing. But I think, and this year is going to be 10, but you know what, dude, uh, actives at 289, yeah. which is about 10% of a balanced market. Yeah. I'm uh, hoping we get a spring. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe just we'll have like a real spring market where there are like lots of homes come on the market. I'm even uh, just, I'm hoping for 500 <laughs> homes. That's what I'm hoping for. 500 total. That would be cool. That would be wonderful. No, that would be great. So if we could just have that. So if you're watching the show, just put your house on the market. It's Seriously. Really nice. we, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be God's fine. Sake, just, yeah. It'll be fine. We'll find you something. We have rooms in here you can sleep just <laughs> yeah. in case. I mean, it's we'll going to be guest fine. room ready. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my, yeah. That'll go well with the wife, right? <laughs> Let's call. Yeah. Hey, by the way, uh, Jess, I'm going to let you know there's four families moving in, but got uh, sold four get, houses. Get out the air mattress. Yeah, exactly. The other thing I saw uh, too, and uh, keeping current managers, was be careful with what you hear about this language of deceleration is not the same as depreciation. We have to oh, actually know that. Yeah. When they when they say that the, the housing market is decelerating, that means the rate of the increase yeah. is not the same as it was before. Good point. That's not depreciation. That's right. deceleration. That's okay? a good point. Um, so just make sure when you're hearing that on the news, because the news likes to twist words a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so it says acceleration means prices rise at a greater year over year pace than the previous month. Deceleration means home values continue to rise, but at a slower pace. 
yeah. of your over your appreciation. That's exactly right. So just be be careful when you hear that, right? Because they'd like to do doom and gloom sometimes. They do. Yes, a they little do. deceleration would be good right now. A deceleration would be would be very welcomed. Yeah, yeah. be very welcome. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Anything else you have? That's all I got right now, man. All right, because we're at fifteen minutes, buddy. We we talked Whoa. fifteen minutes about absolutely nothing. <laughs> It's unbelievable how you get two people into a room. They're salespeople, and it just rolls and rolls and rolls. Good unbelievable, talkers. yeah. I mean, Hugo didn't even get to say anything. Yeah, man. You, know? you want to say anything? What the heck? This is, he doesn't even have his microphone, does he? It's just so fun to get to hear you. All right, good, good, good. All right, so oh, Pete, thanks thank for coming brother. back in, man. I appreciate thanks it. In. Yep. All right, there we go. Pete is back. He was back. He was here. He was in the new studio, and we're very, very excited about this. So. uh I uh, hope you'll tune in next month when he's back and we talk about more things about numbers in the market and everything. All right. See you later.